so <laughs> so um I'm here to show you my influencer Cosmo box box and um it looks like this is just a plain white box and there's my little address on the front and it just tells you where it's from nothing too jazzy like you know like a glossy box or a uh, birch box or things like that it's, it's similar to that you get to see the products only thing is i think they require you to review the product once you receive the box so you review the products once you receive it and you get about um, four four to five um products in each box so mine has i think four I want to say, and I'm going to show you what they are, I'll show you the full prices, and I'll tell you my opinions of the ones, the things that are in here, like, I'll review them, an open box review of my box box, there we go, so inside you get this little, um, influencer card like you would if you've ever received a glossy box or a birch box, same thing, has the products on the this on the other side telling you what's in it how much it costs you know and like describe the products it does that and this is the cosmo black box 2012 like i said and it's totally free it takes a while for you to get one because i've had my account for a year almost and I'm just now getting a box, so I think I'm getting two, another one after this, but I'm not sure. Moving on. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is going to be the Venus um, razor and um, little refill packet. Comes a little weird drawstring bag. And here's the razor. Nothing new, nothing you guys have never seen before, anything like that. This is the one, this is just the regular Venus Embrace. So, and it doesn't tell you how much these are, but it tells you how much the refills are. So, um, the refills, which are these. This one is, I'm pretty sure you can get them in different scents, but this is the Venus and Olay, the one. And it has a little scent. It's like, not too hard. But yeah, these cost anywhere from $350 to $450 a month for the refills. Um, I thought you get like two, you get two. Um, oh. Well, I don't know how many you get in one. This one just has one refill in it. So it looks like and I don't like these particular razors because I don't like how big they are the extra little things on the inside I don't like it but anyway you get these and yeah get a little refill and you get um a coupon a two hours off coupon with it so that's cool I don't really care for these I don't hate them I just don't feel like they work as good as people claim they do. I just, you know. Yeah. That's just me. Next thing is the Forever Red Eau de Perfume from Bath and Body Works. And this is the 0.25 mil. And they want $10 for this little tiny perfume. I mean. I don't like it. It's not for me. It says a touch of red is pure magic. Bath and Body Works introduces you to their new most luxurious fragrance ever. As you lavish the spray on a passionate blend of pomegranate and red osmanthus with the sexy surprise of vanilla rum for an enchanting way to fragrance. For a forever enchanting way to fragrance. Everyone will be commenting on how great it smells. No, they won't. I've smelled this in the store. I just never knew they had these sizes. I saw the bigger one. 
I feel like the bigger ones smell so, different. Like, I don't know if there's two different versions of the Forever like, Red, or maybe that is because I was smelling so many other things that day that like that just smelled decent. But this is awful. Um, I do smell the vanilla and the osmanthus or whatever that is. I think that's what it is. I hate it. It's like a deep, wintry, musky scent. It's like, ugh, I hate it. It's like if you like um from Bath and Body Works, the cashmere glow or whatever that is. Or the... Um, what is that? I don't know what it is. My sister has it, but... Or even if you like the warm vanilla scent, you might like this. But whatever the new one is, the cashmere one, it smells similar to that. So if you like that, you're definitely going to like this. It smells pretty much similar to me. But then again, everything that smells like old woman to me smells the same. So, I mean, they want $10 for this. A full size is $44.50. And this is a 0.25 mil, and this is $10, which I find to be completely ridiculous. That is something I would not be purchasing. I can tell you that much. The next two things, which is one item in the box, are these two pins, which I think are amazing. Um, these are the um, Fusion by Pilot. And this is a red one, obviously. It has red ink, and this is just has black ink. Um, these retail for a pack of three, four fifty, and for a pack of like eight are eleven dollars. And I feel like I'd buy these again for the simple fact that they're erasable. This is the eraser tip on the end. Excuse that swatch. That's the eraser tip. And they're not like, you know, the old school erasable pens where like you'd have to erase really, really hard and it came with the actual pencil eraser. This comes with like some weird rubber eraser and it really erases. I tried it on my box. I'll show you again. Just do a little scribble in red so you can see it. I wrote that. And I'm going to erase it. The only downside is here, if you're one of those people like me who put the caps on the back, you have to remove it, but it's not like a huge deal. And it's gone now. That's an amazing erase. To me, I think this is a good pen. It's smooth, the right's smooth. It's really nice. So I would definitely buy these. I this is coming handy for work. I wouldn't take this for it because people steal pens. Like these are the pens you don't want to give out to let people use. You know what I'm saying? Because people will not give them back. And the last thing in here are the Girardelli Gourmet Milk Sea Salt Escape. Now, if you know me, these are two seventy nine, by the way. If you know me, you know I don't like chocolate. Don't make that face. Because <laughs> I know the face everybody gives me that. You don't like chocolate? What's wrong with you? Face. I know. I hate that. If I eat chocolate, it's very rare. Um, I just don't. Ugh. But this looks really good. This is almond. It has almond in it. Sea salt with almond. Um, it looks good. I like almond. And I might actually like the salty sweet. I like salty sweet things. And I like almonds. If I have to have a chocolate salt. If there's just nothing around and all there is is like a chocolate. If it has a, a nougat or whatever crunch effect to it in there, I'll eat it. But I just won't eat pure chocolate. It's disgusting. But I really don't care for chocolate. It's not the thing I reach for when I go to get candy or something. But I've heard good things about this. I'm going to try it and open it. My mom wants it. She's like, let me have that. You don't even like chocolate for the opening. I'll show it to you. It's where I want to be. I can't see. Sorry. If I can open it. Okay. Ooh, it's melting. I'll just take a piece. What's that? I don't know if you're supposed to get the sea saltiness of it, but, you know, it just tastes like almond milk chocolate. 
salty too spell for there. How am I supposed to taste the saltiness? But I don't. Mm. So that's kind of a letdown. I was hoping to taste a little salty. I'm gonna hit you at the end. There we go. It's not bad. I'm not terrible. Oh, it does hit you at the end. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Did I call this fusion? These are. <laughs> These are friction. With an X. Sorry if I said fusion. I don't know. But yeah, that's everything I got in the box. Um, what I'm wearing is a hot pink lip liner. There's no name on it. My black heart on my lips. I'm going to do a review for black heart because I'll. Well, I'm gonna do that later. And on top of that is Revlon Stormy Pink, and it's matte. It looks darker than it is. It's actually pretty bright. You don't get the best cover for this, I will say. It's patchy. Ooh, it's patchy, so. Mm. I'm gonna wear my H&M herringbone-esque chain. Gold one, as my brother would call it, a herringbone chain. <laughs> and I'm wearing, I'll show you my shirt. Mm, taco Cat, which I got um, on the $10, $10 sale at the uh, Hot Topic. So, yeah, on my nails, the pink color is, excuse the mess, I'm sorry, like I messed up my nails. All I do is what's happening, you guys. The pink is Fuchsia Fusion by Orly, and the white is White Out by Sally Hansen. So, that's that. And the shoes on my feet, which I share. I never share these as my shoes ever. Which are some of my favorite pairs of shoes. One of my favorite bands. Um, the paint drip. High top. It's just like that. So, I don't my foot doesn't look good. These are a little bit too big. But I think those were limited edition. That's everything. Um, thanks for watching.